proper body proportion with rebar tie wire. Rebar tie wire is an alloy of probably like steel. Steel gives it its strength and then lead gives it its weight and its bendability. This rebar tie wire is used by construction workers to um, tie rebar or steel pole, like poles that stick through concrete. And so like a contractor will have this on the belt and they'll pull out a length and snip it and tie up rebar. That's why it's called rebar tie wire. But I have discovered that it's a perfect tool to use with wire sculpture because it is bendable and it holds its shape and it, and it supports its own weight. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Whenever you get the wire out of the spool, you're gonna put your whole hand on top of it and you're gonna pull from the middle. This is what I mean by it holds its shape. See how it just stays like that? It's lunchtime here at Austin East. You wanna pull out about this much. It's gonna end up being about six feet tall and you don't wanna work with wire that's more than that and you don't wanna work with short pieces either. So I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna cut it off so that there's some left standing up from here so we know where to grab. I do not want you to get it from the outside. We're gonna just pull it through our hands in the middle. Now we gotta get rid of this curl and because this is steel, it rusts so it's coated with something. My fingers are already have sort of a greasy coating and it's some kind of an oil or gasoline or something that they've coated it with. So I'm gonna take a paper towel, it'll work better because it's a little sturdier. And I'm gonna run it through, and this uncurls it at the same time. I'm gonna run it through my paper towel and you can see right here, the dirt that comes off of it, the grease, whatever that keeps it from rusting. When you're done with these, we're going to spray paint your figures either gold or silver. So it will actually look like gold wire or silver wire. So I am going to stretch out a length. Now I'm ready to go. There are many ways to do this, but I'm going to demonstrate a way that you can do this step by step and, and find success. So I want to start with the head. If you start with the head, you can base all of your other body measurements off of that one measurement because a body from, from the top of the head to the bottom of the toes is eight head lengths long. So when I make the head, I'm going to make it in this kind of a shape. So here's my wire, but I'm going to make an egg-shaped oval and give myself a couple of different lines. It's gonna look a little bit like that. And so I'm gonna be working from the wire and checking my measurements and everything, Keelan, when I um, can put it up against here. So with your fingers, you're just going to bend this into an, an oval, like so. And then I want to make it an oval instead of a round circle. And you can even give it some body mass by taking it the other way like this and then all of a sudden there's kind of a neck right here and you can use your fingers to pinch and pull okay so there's the head like this and it looks like a gesture drawing a gesture drawing is that loose drawing that just is supposed to um, imitate a body motion it's not concerned with the outside line of things Jackie. so there's that now Let's remember what our body proportions for the shoulder is. That's gonna be like three head widths or a head length and a half turned this way. And I've got to make my shoulders go there. So what you have to do with the wire is you have to put it where you want it to go. So I want this wire at the neck to come out this way a little bit. So I have to put it there, okay? Now I'm gonna make a little loop that will be my shoulder blade. Don't make this too big. Okay, you want it about three head widths. All right, now I'm just gonna lock this wire down 
by pulling it over that. So right now what this looks like is just the head and the shoulders. So that's what I've got so far. And now I need to put my pelvis in. And if I wanted to work this out on a piece of paper, or you can bring your sculpture up here and you can put it up here and you can say, okay, this is how big my head is and here are my shoulders. Now I need to make sure that there are four head widths from the bottom of the pelvis up to here and your pelvis is going to be a roundish circle that in this particular, these proportions, it's going to be right here. And you want your pelvis to be bigger than your head because the pelvis, remember, is two head widths. So I'm going to figure out where that is and I'm going to make a circle right there. So I'm going to put the wire where I want it to go. Okay. If it's too high, you can pull it down. You can see that I'm running out of wire and I'm going to show you how to add wire. But jack it up, please. I'm going to run this through a line in my pelvis. Okay, and I'm going to make it go through the shoulder and I'm going to just make one arm. Maybe I'll have enough to make two arms. But I'm going to run this wire, like sew it through there to lock it down. And this is a little bit awkward, but loop it. If you, have, if you make a tight kink in the wire, it's not going to unbend. So you gotta be careful not to, to make kinks and just to do large loops like this. I'm gonna shove it through here. Shove it through and everything will get out of whack, but that's okay. You can shape it up with your fingers later on. So I'm going to pull this wire up through the shoulder and then bend it down. And now this part can start to be my arm. This is what it looks like right now. So this is the pelvis. You know where the elbow is going to go. So this is what it looks like right now. There's a couple of lines here and this goes up here and this is like that. But this is my waist. So this is a, about where the elbow is going to be. So I'm going to have to make my wire go like that. And then the forearm is going to be right here with a hand also. And you need to anticipate where that hand is going to go. Because if I took measurements off this, this is the body height right here. Then this same height is going to be all legs down here. So make sure that you leave enough space or that that you understand that legs represent half your body height. So whatever you do from the pelvis up is gonna also be your leg length. So you gotta make your arm now, and I like to make that, that um, elbow joint. And then I'm going to make my forearm and where the bottom of the pelvis is, from there down is gonna be the hand. And I just make a loop of the hand. Now I'm gonna pull it back through this way and so that you can see it contrasted against the white. There's the pelvis, that's where my hand begins and the hand is below that mark, below this pelvis mark. Now I'm gonna thread this back up through my elbow because I've made a loop there to indicate elbow. I'm gonna thread that back through and maybe through my shoulder somewhere. Okay. And now I'm going to wrap it around the neck, maybe just to lock it down. Lock it down. I believe I have enough for the other arm, actually. So I've made one arm now, right here. You're just going to sculpt your person just standing like this. It's later on that you'll want to um, put your person in a body motion. So I'm going to lock this down on the shoulder, coming back the other way, so it doesn't flop around. No, well, that's going to flop around a little bit. That's okay. I can, I can actually lock it down like that. There we go. So I want my, my wire to be right there, so I had to put it right there. Now I'm gonna do another elbow with a loop. Make sure that they're the same 
area right there, same line like that. Okay, and now I'm going to make my loop for the hand. I'm going to take this little wire back up through the elbow, and I'm about done. Give the elbow, I mean your forearm, a little bit of thickness, so you might want to pull that out a little bit. And now I'm going to go back up through the uh, shoulders. And you see this wire is just sticking out, it's just sticking out right there. I'm going to lock it down around my shoulder and twist it around some other wires. And then I'm going to make sure that all those things, all those wires that are sticking out like this, get bent in towards the body so it's not sticking out like that. All right, I'm ready to add another piece and add some body um, mass, maybe with some more lines up here, but also the legs. So to add a piece of wire to this, I want everybody watching, please sit up and watch how I do this. You're gonna get the wire first. You're gonna pull it up, grab a length, not too much longer than this. It gets a little unwieldy if you try to work with too much wire at once, and you can always add. I'll snip it off, and here's my paper towel. Win them. Okay. Yeah. Your hands are going to get dirty. This will help. You can do this a couple of different times. I'm just going to do it once. All right, this is how you add wire. What you want to do is you want to weave this end up and through some things that you already have in your body, okay? You just want to go in and around like you're weaving it up through here. And then I'm going to bring it down, wrap it around some things, and put that end back in towards the body, and let's see if it works. Yeah, that's a pretty good connection. And now I'm ready to have another length, and because my wire is already coming down, I'm, this is a good time to make a leg. So this is going to be an important step because people will make the legs too short at this point, and it's actually better to have longer legs than shorter. So if you need to err on any sort of side, err on the side of making them a little too long. So let's figure out where the kneecap is going to be. Kneecap is going to be here because it represents one fourth of your body height. So you can also work on paper as you as you do this. So I'm going to make a kneecap. That now this is the part where you need to make sure um, that you go for far enough down for your foot. And right now my kneecap is going this way. Well, I'm going to go that way. So just flip it around. Now. This is where I'm gonna put my foot and the foot's gonna come out this way. And you want one loop for your foot because when, I'm gonna make a foot right now, I'm gonna make it come out like this. Don't make little feet, don't make huge feet, make a foot that will support your body's height. Now I'm gonna take this end of the wire, go back up through the kneecap that I just created, there we go. And I'm going to make sure that it goes somewhere uh, into the pelvis. You can shape all this up later. It's going to get misshapen as you work on it. So this is what this looks like right now. I'm going to take the end of this back up through somehow, somewhere. Make sure it doesn't kink. You've got to help it through. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna lock it down. I'm gonna put the wire this way, going down. But I want it to be stable, so I might want to like twist it somewhere else. Maybe up into the body and come back down. There we go. Like that. That's stable. And I'm gonna do the other leg. This is what it looks like right now against the white. Okay, my, I'm gonna do the outside of this leg because my wire's right there. If it was coming from the inside, I would do the inside of the leg first. 
but make sure that your kneecaps match up. Just twist it around and make that circle. I'm gonna make the foot exactly where this one is. Whoops. And I'm gonna come out right there. Make a one loop. And I'll show you why you just make one loop. Right now I'm gonna wrap it around the ankle. Come back through the kneecap. back in the pelvis area. Just weave it up through there. Lock it down. Make it stable. You can stretch this guy out a little bit. Add some body mass if you want. I'm going to wrap this around the shoulder and put it put that end pointing internally. Okay, so here's my person. You're gonna take your time on it, and you're gonna shape it up, and you can add more lines in the legs and arms. But this is why you want a loop, because once I decide on my body motion, like maybe this guy's running or whatever, you're gonna have to put him in some kind of a, doing something to represent some kind of body motion. And then we're gonna paint a wooden block and I'm going to staple your sculpture to the base and if I put my thumb on the foot on this loop and pretend like my thumb is a staple it stays on the block so that's what we're, you're going to work on today your hands are going to get into the wire today thank you